Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Once again, we're in a flat map, and this is a special episode where we're looking at irrigation. Now, in the uh, episode from last week, um, we were looking at the irrigation just on the level. Uh, no elevation changes at all. This week, we are looking at the effect of ele elevation um, on how far your irrigable distance is. I'm sure that um, some people will ask for it, so this is um, this is coming. Um, so most of our efforts are going to be focused on the three by three uh, tile, but we will also uh, just for completeness look at one by one and two by two, um, just to make sure that everything everything is all in order. So first of all, let's start over here with one by one. Um, ordinarily. Um, I don't even have an example here. Um, you get a little block around uh, too wide, like we can see here on the half. Uh, in this example, we've gone up one tile and down one tile. Um, and the effect of going up one tile is it completely cuts off irrigation at all. Uh, going down one tile doesn't seem to have any effect whatsoever. If we move over here to... Um, so this next example, it's also one up and one down, but the up is one tile further away. So over here it was right next to the water, now it is one tile away. You can see that between the water and the elevation change, everything is exactly as normal, but once we go up, again, all of our trees are just dead. But going down, nothing seems to change. Still one away. If we were to go two away, it would definitely... Um, be all dead because uh, this guy can't irrigate that far. And over here, um, I haven't gone up anymore because if it can't go up one, it can't go up two or three, but we've gone down. So we've gone down two tiles over here and gone down three tiles here. And you can see both of them one tile away. Uh, all of these elevation decreases don't seem to have an effect at all. Just to make sure of that, that's where this guy over here comes in. So uh, this is the max height you can have on the map. We've got a little one tile there. And right down that hole there, right at the bottom, is the very bottom of the map. And you can see that it's still three tiles wide, just when it was one, two, or three tiles lower. So it does seem that the effect of an elevation decrease doesn't reduce the range, but an elevation increase certainly does. That's so what I wanted to talk about one by one. Um, if we look at a two by two, and again, we're going to go through a lot of the same uh, logic once more. So this first path here, um, a single uh, tile higher, uh, no units away from our water and one unit away, and both seem to have the same effect again. Uh, if we turn it this way so that horizontal there's no, no inhibitants at all, um, just vertically, uh, going up um, one tile, whether you're no units away or one unit away, both stops your irrigation two tiles after the edge of the water. If they are two units away and three units away, it completely stops it in its tracks. Now, this little section here, We've got no units away and one unit away. But now these are two tiles high. So I wanted to do this because we still had plant growth when it was one unit higher. So maybe two units higher, we still get plant growth, and it doesn't look like it is at all. It's just all dead. Um, and what's happening over here on this side is the effect of this water... Um, up here. We're not interested in that part at all. But up here, again, just to make sure, we've got uh, big uh, drops. It doesn't seem to... it doesn't seem to have an effect on what the irrigation range uh, is. Now, on this side, you might go, well, hang on. If we were to turn it to the side again, and look, it should be eight tiles wide. Is it eight? 
eight tiles wide, but it's only three. Well, what's going on? Well, down here, there is still, like, it has to, for these to be irrigated, it has to go up again. So we can just uh, show that this is um, exactly the same uh, problem. Let's make these go down all the way to the bottom. And we'll just run our water simulation to get the irrigation area to grow up a bit. Replant all the trees. And you can see, once again, we've got six down at the bottom and two up top. So, uh, drops don't seem to have an effect on uh, how wide your irrigable area is. And then I wanted to look at three by threes, which is where we really want most of the focus to be. We put in this guy, just as, um, looks kind of like a Pokeball, um, just as a reference tile. And then up here, we're doing a lot of the same experiments all over again. Um, no units away and one unit away. Uh, we're going up and down one tile. Reduces to 10 each time. If we just go up on the left here, and there's no down, so you can see that this whole air, air side is all elevated, um, it's still 10. Uh, which again is a little bit more evidence that the elevation drops don't affect your irrigable area. On this side, however, we've gone up two tiles. With a three tile block, we still get grass. Grass, it's not grass. Well, there is grass underneath the trees down there. Um, we still get um, irrigable land up top, and then it continues at another two tiles. Uh, the next one over here, I went a, went a little bit crazy with this one. It was, well, what if we elevate, like, the closest edge two units, and then the rest of it one unit on the left-hand side here, and then on the right we've just gone up three units. Well, it's easiest to see on the right, all of these are dead. There's no life going on at the top of that hill at all. On the left-hand side, though, we've still got four trees wide, exactly the same as when we were over here. Um, my next line of inquiry was, okay, well, what if instead of going up two, we go up two but one at a time? And that's where this example comes in. So on the left, we're going up one, down one, up one, and then down one again. And on the right, we just go up two and down two. And if we look at the, the pattern here, we can see that the maximum width is still four tiles, but the strip in between is a lot wider than the strip two tiles up here. Now, the reason for that is because this guy here, after one tile wide, it matches this guy over here after we've gone up one tile. So... I mean, we can put both of them on the screen like this, um, and you can see that those two actually align. And then this guy here, um, more tile, uh, four tiles out now, still five trees, and five trees over here. Um, I was still not quite satisfied with how this was working, um, so that's where this little stadium come in. Now. All of our examples that were um, used here, they progressively got eaten up as I was going through um, this testing. Because I just wanted to make sure um, with what we had worked out. So um, let's keep it turned this way. Uh, up and down, we're still 16 tiles wide. On the left, we've got steps up to three high. And on the right, just a three high block. The three high block is exactly the same as we saw over here. They're all dead. On the left, however, we can see that you got one tile. It matches what we saw over here. Um, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, with this guy, up one tile. And then this next one, up two tiles. 
So this is two units out from the water and we're two tiles elevated. So that should match this guy here, which is, what's that? Nine, t nine trees, two tiles up, one tile out. If we come over here and look, it does. Two tiles up, one tile out, nine trees wide. So what it seems like is it is the it is just the steps like how many times the um, terrain has gone up from the edge of your water and how far out you are. So between the edge of the water and where you are, how many tiles up you've gone. So this has gone two tiles up, which means it's in in this world here. The same as if it had just gone up to straight away. Now, this next one, the third tile up here, I just wanted to make sure that all of this, it still behaves the same. And the conclusion from all of this, um, if we come back over here with no elevation changes, uh, the water irrigated 16 tiles out, with one increase it was 10 tiles out, with two increases four tiles out and with three increases there's nothing absolutely nothing so what this led me to conclude is that the width of irrigation that comes from a three by three tile is 16 minus six times the number of elevation increases so when we had one it was 16 minus 1, which gives you a 10 wide. With two increases, uh, 2 times 6 is 12. 16 minus 12 is 4. Gives us our four tiles here. We can also use that formula with this 3 by 3. I forgot, we sh should have mentioned it before. 3 times 6 is 18. 16 minus 18 is negative 2. And that means that we should go out negative two tiles, which is kind of like going back. Well, it can't go back, so it just doesn't go out at all. Which is, I think, where where these come from, why we can't go up three high. I'm just going to interject here um, and thank everyone for their comments on the first episode. Um, I'm just adding uh, this little section in because um, there were some... A few, a few people ask, um, well, we looked at the effect of the depth on 3x3 three three tiles, but not on the smaller ones, 1x1 one one and 2x2. Two two. Uh, so I just wanted to quickly cover that off uh, here. Um, so in this first row, we've got a depth of 1. This next, it's kind of offset, a depth of 2. And these last ones are depth of 3. Um, and you can see for a 1x1, one one, um, it has no effect at all. If you want to count trees for the 2x2, two and three by three, um, you must set uh, for the two by two. Sorry, at depth of depths of one, two, and three, all the way down there, uh, you certainly can. But once again, it doesn't have any effect on the radius of um, the irrigation area. It's still eight units wide in every direction. I do hope this has been uh, helpful to see how irrigation, uh, irrigation, uh, elevation affects um, the irrigation width um, of your little tiles. Um, if this mini series has been helpful for you, do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It does help out a lot. Otherwise, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.